Buenas, mis amigos y amigas. Welcome to another video. We're doing number 11. Oof, we're getting, we're starting to get deep into these problems here. And this time we're talking about a, a mixture of propane, which has a lower flammability limit. And let me just tell you real quick that in scenery design and process control, this concept does come back. So it's pretty cool that we're getting a little exposed to this a little bit early. Um, and the name of the game is that if it goes below this small percentage of 2.05 propane, if it goes below that, it may ignite, okay? Also, if it goes above this limit, it also may ignite. So we want to keep it between 2.05 and 4.03. So, um, <clears throat> so we have to control the system because this is very important for safety and processes and, uh, and quality control because in real life, you know, things may blow up and stuff. So as usual, uh, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try to work it out yourself. Let's try to see what you can come up with. Thank you to, uh, to uh, Mr. Davis for reminding us this. Okay, so like I said, the name of the game is we want to control this. So this is our propane mixture of the 4.03 mole percent. And then we have this stream which can be our dilution air. So we're diluting it with air, you know, air can be a dilution as well. And then this is our product stream. Okay. So what we have here is we can have our molar flow rate n.1. You might be tempted to replace this with uh, 150, but read the question carefully, okay? So this is our first n.1. This is our molar flow rate, and it has a 0.0403 mole propane per mole of feed with respect to the mole of feed. Not, not 4.03 because this is a mole percentage. So if you take you divide this by 100, that's, that's where that comes from. So that's the first little gimmick that you have to be careful with. And then secondly, we can dilute it with the air. So this is our pure air. Remember the quotations are here just to remind us that nothing's really pure in the real world and the engineering world. But uh, we're just going to assume it to be relatively pure. And uh, and next we have our, our product stream. Okay, so this is our molar flow rate of the product, which... Hmm, how did I know to put 0 0.0203? Because this is the lower flammability. We want it to be uh, above this. And as you can see, I, I just subtracted the, the molar flow rate for the for the air. And we don't necessarily need to calculate it because we know that the summation of the mole fractions has to be 1. So I'm just going to subtract that. And um, like I said, we don't need to calculate it. You can if you want to, though. So if you haven't got this far, I recommend you pause the video and try to work it out and try to see if you can continue yourself because really it's really important for you to work out your brain and try these problems. Uh, that's a pretty efficient way of studying in my opinion. Okay, so last time we talked about, you know, mass balance and volume balance and I kind of tricked you saying, well, I pretended to trick you saying that you can do a mass balance, but you can't do a volume balance. As you can see this time, these are in molar flow rates. So can you do a mole balance? And uh, the answer is, what do you think? Well, mass balance, if you think about it, comes from the thermodynamics, the laws of thermodynamics. You know, mass cannot be created or destroyed. Well, all right, physicists, you know, you got your you got your dark matter and your and your uh, nuclear energy and all this crazy stuff. But we're, we're not going to be dealing with too, too many crazy concepts like that. Um, for the name of the game of chemical reactions, the protons are conserved, right? Because atoms are based on the number of protons. So the protons are conserved. And remember from Avogadro's number, that's how we can calculate uh, moles, the molecular weight. That's how we get moles. So if mass is conserved, then moles is conserved as well. Just as a quick reminder, volume is not conserved because the, the density of the solution may change. Okay, so from our mole balance, it's just like the mass balance. We have the summation of the moles coming in is equal to the summation of the moles coming out. So we have n.1 is equal to n.2. Uh, sorry, n.1 plus n.2 is equal to n.3. You might be tempted, if you read the question, to replace this with 150, but it is not 150. Why? I want you to go back to the question and think about it carefully. It said that that is the propane flow rate. Okay, so now we can do a propane balance. Mm. So it said that the propane flow rate was 150. This was the, the mol molar flow rate of the propane going in. And we can set it equal to the molar flow rate of the propane coming out. So remember from the definition of the mole fraction, that's how we get this expression. And, uh, oh, look, one equation, one unknown. Hey, look, we can actually calculate n.3. So look, we actually solve for that guy. So that's pretty cool. So I know I didn't put the units, but this is going to be the, the moles per second of the output flow rates. And uh, from the definition of the mole fraction again, right? It's the uh, 
molar flow rate of the component with respect to the molar flow rate of the feed, we can use that to solve for the uh, molar flow rate of the first uh, of the first feed, right? Um, because we have, uh, like I said, the molar flow rate of the propane is 150. And we know the uh, from manipulating this expression, we have this uh, mole fraction of the propane. Okay, and great. So now we have n.3 and n.1. I think you might see where this is going. We can replace this in the overall mole balance. And uh, great. So we have this expression. We can solve for n.2. And that is the dilution we need. This is the dilution we need to, to purify the air. So if we have all these values, then we want to input this molar flow rate. My question for you, which is the same question that you asked in part C, is this, uh, is this exactly what we want? Do we want to go higher than this or do we want to go lower? Think about this, okay? So we're diluting with the air, right? So in that case, that means we uh, we actually want to be a little bit higher than this, okay? Because if, if we go lower, then it's not going to dilute enough and we're not going to reach the desired uh, mole fraction that we want, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, pause it and think about it for a second and it should make sense. If it, not, if it does not make sense, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Great. Thanks for watching. This was a uh, relatively quick video. Don't forget to click the playlist if you're not already on it. I should have the slides in the description as well. Please leave me any, any comments, any suggestions uh, for future videos. And don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.